if you're doubting yourself because you have to take these small steps even if it's just self-care it's not even that it's just self-care you know people say to start small it's not that these things are small they're huge they compound over time these things that we do that we consider to be small are just things that we know and that's good news we already know it there's some discomfort behind it and i'm willing to bet that there's a lot of discomfort behind it because there's some doubt that this will actually push us forward and i'm here to tell you that it does push you forward taking care of yourself does help and that's because as humans we are momentum based you got to start somewhere everyone has to start somewhere and you know what if you have to start at a lower place than someone else i would say that's even a good thing because once you get yourself out of it once you get yourself out of the ashes and when you rise you're actually a much more relatable person Think about it, before I actually started recording this video, I actually had the intention of posting it on my creative business page. And if I was born rich and I had friends and family that would loan me money whenever I wanted to start a new business, I wouldn't really be relatable. Yes, I could make something that's incredibly profitable in a short amount of time, or at least in a shorter amount of time, but your reach to make genuine, meaningful relationships with other people is actually sort of dampened. So whatever it is that you're going through, maybe it's self-care, maybe you're trying to start a business or create a venture, everyone starts somewhere. But the goal is to just start and try not to worry if it goes perfectly or not because chances are it won't go perfectly and that's fine. And if you don't know where to start, start anywhere. With self-care, I mean every morning I like to wash my feet. Most people wash their face first or brush their teeth. I wash my feet first because uh, I really hate having dirty feet. You know, if it's a business, well, start any business. You know, what are the odds that your very first business that you start or your very first idea becomes the one that takes off? It's okay if it doesn't take off because chances are that business idea is going to grow into something more. You probably can't even see it because you haven't started yet. And that's fine, just get started. And for those of you who are very creative, I'll just use videos and video editing, for example. Just start recording anything, really. I'm not joking. I actually got that advice from a YouTuber that I really like. He had an Ask Me Anything video, and I submitted a question. I can't remember word for word, but it was basically how do I get started on doing something that he was doing something very similar to what he does and he said people get too bogged down on details for lighting and you know really good quality videos and the best editing and really it's just you and your camera and i couldn't agree more so wherever you are wherever you're starting from wherever you need to start from that's fine you're right where you need to be